top 5 best smartphones for Mobile Legends under 5K or 5K. Infinix Hot 30i, ITEL S23 4G, Techno Spark 10, Redmi 12C, and the Techno Spark 10C. Uy, di ko pala naririp itong 10C ah. Mukhang iPhone no? Pero ito na, yeah boy. These Five right here are the best smartphones under 5K. Hindi na sila the best Mobile Legends phones. Pero in this video, we will be checking out which one of these guys are the best in terms of performance, graphics, and least laggy of all the Mobile Legends. Sino kaya magwawagyan? Napasin nyo ba? Puro transition phones ang andito. Isa lang kay Xiaomi. Wow! Ganun na kalupit pala si transition Holdings. Number one in the Philippines. But yes, get ready for the ultimate top 5 comparison of all time some Mobile Legends, these are the best Mobile Legends smartphones under 5k Okay, without further ado, let us do the comparison What's been since you're watching, Unbox Ladies Ooh. Lahat po ng mga phones na to, nare-review ko ngayon ay napakabilis Parang ang sponsor natin ngayon, CU Green Ang dami mo bang mga charger sa bahay? Charger ng phone, charger ng laptop, charger ng tablet Parang feeling mo, kaya na lahat ng itong gawin ng isang charger lang. Well, andito na po si Ugreen Mini Chargers 65 watts, 35 watts, at meron pa tayong Gun X 65 watts. Super bilis, super compact, super pang maramihan, pero isa lang ang dala mo. Ang kagandahan sa charger na to ay meron siyang 3 ports para pwede mo i-charge ang up to 3 gadgets at the same time. Meron pa siyang dalawang USB-C at isang USB-A. Pwedeng phones, laptops, earphones, tablets, actually kahit ano na may USB-C or USB-A ay pwedeng pwede dito. Ang kagandahan pa dito is sobrang liit at compact niya lang. Kasyang kasya sa kahit anong bag, sobrang laking nasisave na space kapag on the go ka. Kaysa naman magdadala ka ng 3 separate na chargers para sa gadgets mo, eto iisa na lang. At isa pa, mabilis pa ito mag-charge. Kaya mag-charge ng iPhone from 0 to 60% in just 30 minutes at yung MacBook ko, chinarge na lang 75% agad in just 45 minutes so kasing bilis niya yung original na charger ni Apple or even mas mabilis pa. Oh by the way, yung kanyang Ugreen 30 Watt Mini Charger pala is perfect para sa iPhone or Android phone mo. Functions just like your original charger. So yung charger speed niya and yung safety ay tulad na rin ng isang original charger. The Ugreen Chargers are on a massive sale right now sa Shopee at Lazada. Super mura lang. Check nyo na agad yung links sa descriptions below. And don't forget to use the code para sa discount. Meron po tayong up to 20% discount code down below. And oh by the way, magkakaroon pala tayo ng giveaway ng Ugreen 65 Watt Mini Charger. And all you need to do is comment down below why you want to win the Ugreen 65 Watt Charger. Good luck. Parang si Dennis Tayag lang ah. Kaya Tayag ba yan? Hindi ka yan? Si Kaldag. Ano ang tawag yung sayo niya? Big boy. Okay, so ito na. Sino kaya ang top 5 natin ngayon? 1, 2, boom! Techno Spark 10. Bakit? Parang ang ganda naman ang review dito. Bakit mababa siya sa lista natin ngayon? Well, hindi naman kasi ito pasulitan ngayon eh. It's about the performance in Mobile Legends and while we were testing this phone for Mobile Legends, ito po yung settings niya. High graphics and high refresh rate. In terms of Mobile Legends performance, siya yung the weakest link sa lahat. Medyo na frame drops. Well, actually, nakakita ko rin. Uh, when I was reviewing this, it did not have the best performance ever. Although yung camera niya is napakaganda. But as you can see sa aming gameplay, hindi po siya ganun ka-smooth. Well, actually, mas marami pang smooth dito. Sa aming listahan, mamaya makita nyo. Meron pang mas mura sa kanya, mas smooth pa sa kanya. Ito kasi yung problema dyan, no? Yung kanyang processor ay only Helio G37. Although this list is actually dominated by Unisoc processors, Unisoc processors are actually much, much faster, much more smoother for gaming than the Helio G37. Pang below average entry-level performance ng talaga, itong Helio G37. Although meron siyang 720p display, 90Hz refresh rate, impressive, pero... I mean, di mo makita na smooth siya dito sa game na to. Mafe-feel mo lang yung smoothness niya sa Facebook, social media, homepage, mga ganun. But, sa gaming, hmm, sakto lang. Ito lang po yung expect natin. Okay. O ba ito, meron siyang malaking battery, 5,000 mAh. It also has 18 watts fast charging. But best of all, meron siyang 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage. Marami kang pwedeng ma-install dito na games or apps, hindi lang Mobile Legends. If you ask me ah, this is actually the best camera right now under 5K. Top 4. 
Redmi 12C. That's right, a phone from Xiaomi. Una sa lahat, siya yung pinakakaibang spec sa lahat ng mga phones natin dito. Wala po siyang 90Hz refresh rate like the others. Uh, 720p display. 332 lang yung ating configuration dito. Ocean blue yung color. Bakit 332 to? Kasi nga, meron siyang apat na configurations. Pero yung pinakamura niya is yung 332, which is 5,000 pesos lang. 5,499. But yes, 5,000 siya yung pinakamahal sa lahat. And siya yung pinakamalit na storage and RAM sa lahat. But still, no? Xiaomi is pretty good sa gaming. So, when we try it out, the only game that we were able to download is Mobile Legends. And that's it! So, ito yung itong problema. Kapag 32GB lang yung ROM nyo, Meron ganyan. Ubus na daw ang storage. Diyos ko Lord, bakit ka makuha ng 32 gigabyte ngayon 2023? That's right! Ang mga na dapat bibili ng 32 gigabytes this year. Ang daming options kasi, what is Xiaomi thinking? Napunta na kasi kay Darren Espanto yung budget. Hindi, wow. That's right! May artista po si... si Xiaomi. Si Darren Espanto. Magmumura siguro ito kung si Rendon yung kinuha. Hindi ako nag-iisip. Ito po. Ang mahal. Motivational po. But yes, in terms of gameplay, ito na po. Mobile Legends. High graphics, high refresh rate, and as you can see, okay naman siya. Pero may konting frame drops here and there. Ayun lang. It's not as smooth as the other phones on this list. Pero napanood namin sa YouTube yung mga ibang reviews, yung 464 is actually smooth all throughout. Feeling namin yung 332, yun nagpabagal sa kanya. Ayun lang. I mean, naka-Helio G85 processor naman siya. Kaya-kaya niya yan. Nagkulang lang sa RAM talaga. Other than that, okay yung kanyang ergonomics, curve yung back. Siya yung pinakakakaiba sa lahat. Hindi siya mukhang iPhone, just like the others. <laughs> Sobrang luma ng design. Pwede nga itong lumabas nung 2022, 2021. Actually, pang 2018 pa nga ito eh. No? Parang may nakita akong 2018 pa na gato'ng design. Nilagyan lang nila ng stripes. I think I've seen this for the past four Redmi T editions. But yes, that's why it's top four. Ito pa right na yung mga pinakabago, pinakamurang phones. Si Redmi 12C and the other phones we have here. But so far, by far, this one is top four lang. Pwede naman din siya maging top five. Kaya lang... Mas worse yung performance ni TechnoSpark 10 sa gameplay, kaya ganun. But yes, in terms of pagkasulit, gosh, 332 is sobrang hassle yan. <laughs> Lagi mong ipifree up yung inyong data dito, sobrang hassle yun guys. But yes, Mobile Legends, okay siya. Top 4. Number 3 is the Infinix Hot 30i. Ay, that is may yung Infinix fans. Kala nyo, ganun kataas yung <laughs> Infinix sa listahan, no? Well, no. Unfortunately, sino kaya yung top? Parang grabe naman kung hindi to yung top notcher natin yun. Well, ito na naman kasi yung na-experience namin, no? Hindi porket sobrang lupit na yung specs and napakasulit niya is okay na siya sa Mobile Legends. This list is all about Mobile Legends performance, so just look at the gameplay here. Although, pwede na siya, no? It's actually smooth, battery smooth. Kaya lang, compared sa other top two phones dito sa list na to, yung kanyang display ay medyo dim in comparison to the other two. Yung other two, mas bright, mas colorful, mas maganda yung display overall. Ang ibig sabihin nito, top na siya talaga yung performance ng top 3. Wala ka naman problema in terms of gameplay. Kaya lang kasi, when it comes to yung sa display, sobrang kailangan yun eh. Kapag dim yung display mo, it's not even usable sa outdoors. No, basta may sikat ng araw, madilim ang yung display. Kahit gaano kaganda, kabilis, kasmooth yung gameplay mo, Kapag hindi mo nakikita yung nilalaro mo, wala din. Yun lang. And by the way, yung specs ay very similar pala kay Techno Spark 10, which is also 4128, HD+, 90Hz refresh rate, 5000mAh, and 18W fast charging type C na. Pero the biggest difference between the Spark 10 and the Hot 30i is the processor. Unisoc T606 na po siya. Yun lang. Uh, na feel namin sobrang laking lundag in terms of performance, even though Unisoc to, you, ano po na sinasabi nyo? Ah, yun sa... Made in... Guys, okay lang po yan. I mean, si MediaTek, made in Taiwan. Snapdragon, made in US. Unisoc, made in China. It's okay, kasi Chinese products are actually quite good. Depende, depende sa branding. But so far, no? Uh, si Unisoc kasi is bago kasi yan na uh, processor, guys. Kakapas mo sa market. Ang problema kasi, guys, since nag-start yung pandemic, hirap na hirap yung mga brands na kumuha ng mga chipsets. Nagkaroon kasi ng semiconductor shortage yung pandemic. And nagsisimahalan yung mga chipsets nun. Even yung sa, ano diba, yung PS5, ang mahal. Ang mahal ng mga graphics cards. That's why, 
I think this was born kasi in demand ang murang cellphone, murang tech ngayon. Now than ever kasi ang hirap ngayon ng economy. Bagsak ang economy ngayon and everybody needs a super sweet, super affordable phone. Everybody needs a phone. Kung may phone, sayang. But going back to Unisoc processors, yes. In terms of performance ng Infinix Hub 30i, na feel namin na on the same league siya as the Redmi 12C. Kaya na kasi it's offering more storage options, more RAM for only 5,000 pesos. Sobrang sulit nun. At least ito mas marami kang pwede ma-install, hindi lang Mobile Legends. As well guys, last sila is high graphics, high refresh rate sa Mobile Legends. And in terms of performance, number 3, Infinix Hot 30i. Or number 2, Itel S20. Ah, akala nyo ha? Akala nyo siya yung top 1. But no, meron pa tayo isang phone ito na hindi pala natin na-review. Si Tecno Spark 10C yun. Kasi yung number 1 guys. And this one is number 2, si Itel S23 Forge. Bakit? Bakit ito? Ang mura na nito eh. At ang ganda ng kanyang gameplay. But guys, wait, wait lang. Kasi hindi to pasulitan kasi malaking factor sa ating decision making, sa ranking, performance niya sa Mobile Legends. And so far, in terms of performance, this one, kulang ba? Kulang ba sa push? Again, high graphics, high refresh rate. And as you can see, it's not as smooth. Although maganda siya sa gameplay namin sa, sa unboxing, pero nung kinumpare na namin siya with its siblings no, sa kanyang price, ka price range, iba yung dating nung Tecno Spark 10C and Infinix Hot 30i, parang ang smooth nila compared to sa phone na to. And feeling namin mas maganda yung graphics talaga nung Tecto Spark 10C and Hot 30i. Yun nga lang, bakit hindi ito yung number 3 natin? Ano yung kaya ito eh? Hindi, hindi kasi. Uh, ang main selling point kasi nito is yung kanyang presyo. Where can you find a phone na 3,000 pesos lang? Wala, di ba? Na kayang gawin yung ganitong klaseng specs. Wait, ito na. Ulit tong specs ha. Kasi yung iba dyan, di pa alam tong Itel S23. Si Itel S23 for 3,000 lang, meron ka na 128 GB na ROM, usually 232 lang to. Ganitong presyo. Kaya doon niya mag-store ng up to 30,000 plus photos. 4 gigs of RAM pa siya. 5,000 mAh sa battery. 90 Hz refresh rate HD plus display. Meaning, same yung kanyang spec sa Tecno Spark 10 Hot 30i. At almost half the price. Yun nga lang syempre, sa Mobile Legends, it did not shine. Kulang pa sa optimization. Pero kasi, pricing is so huge in deciding which one to buy, di ba? Paano kung 3,000 lang yung kanyong budget? Di ba, may bibili yung phone dito. Siyempre, hindi ka kay mama. Ma, meron ka ba niyang 5,000? Hindi pwede, anak. 3,000 lang meron ko dito. Oh. So, you're, you're stuck with the Itel S2, which is okay na. And the fact na meron siya 128 GB of storage, finally, at this price, there has never been a phone. This amount of storage at this price, which allows you to download as much apps as much games as you can and even take so much pictures, videos pero sinasabi ko sa inyo, hindi to maganda pang picture-picture real talk lang pero in terms of usability, mabilis po siya smooth po sa Facebook, sa Google Chrome and the ability to download as much as apps as you want that is true value for me and that is why the Itel S23 4G is our number 2 mobile legends phone for today. At syempre, alam nyo na yan, The first place or yung champion natin ngayong araw na to is yung phone na hindi pa natin nare-review so far which is Tecno Spark 10C yung pinaka iPhone looking phone sa lahat. Ito po si Tecno Spark 10 at yung iPhone ko. Ano ito naman si Tecno Spark 10C? O oh, ba? Pinaka iPhone looking po si 10C sa lahat. Also, curve po yung kanyang back kaya nga asarap maglaro ng Mobile Legends dito Kasi hindi po sobrang flat yung likod, mas ergonomic po siya when you're playing Mobile Legends. This flew under your radar. Hindi nyo po alam kung ano to. Ngayon nyo lang po malalaman to. This is actually sobrang lupit din, parang si 10 and si Infinix Hot 30i. Pero kasi in terms of Mobile Legends gameplay, siya po yung the perfect. The perfect in terms of performance. 60 FPS consistent at hindi lang yun. Bright din yung display. Kompleto po siya. Kompleto kompleto. As you can see in our gameplay, Napaka smooth po niya tingnan. Maganda po yung color ng display. Very bright po siya. And ano pa ba yung mga ibang specs ito? Syempre kailangan niyo malaman yung specs ito. Same sa Tecno Spark 10 HD Plus 90 Hz refresh rate display. 5000 mAh super battery. Unisoc processor din T606. I love you, China. What's up, Beijing? Oi, joke lang yun ah. Makamakansel ako eh.
cancel. And 418 did chat just like the other phones on this list of the Redmi 12 C. But yes, just like the Hot 30i, just like the Techno Spark 10, maganda yung specs, malaking storage, okay yung kanyang RAM. But this one takes the cake for being the best gaming phone on the list kasi ergonomic siya, kasi ang ganda ng performance, and ang bright na display. That's why it is our champion today for the best Mobile Legends phone under 5K. Yung nga lang, fingerprint magnet, kala mo ng jelly case. May jelly case ba ito kasama? Medyo mas smudge lang yung likod niya, no? So, may jelly case naman siya. So, don't worry. Tara! Nakakagulat naman to. Dito ko lang nireview yung Tecto Spark 10C. And that, my friends, is the top 5 best smartphones for Mobile Legends under 5K or 5K. 5, Tecto Spark 10, Redmi 12C number 4, Infinix Hot 30i, number 3. Number 2, si Itel S23 4G. And the champion, the number 1, is the Tecno Spark 10C. The best mobile legends phone under 5K. Mukhang malupit yung ating episode niyan, no? Do you guys want to see this kind of content on my channel lagi? Let me know guys in the comments below. Personally for me, sobrang helpful nito sa mga viewers ko. Sa mga tao dyan naghahanap ng mga murang phones, sulit na sulit. Uh, sobrang laking dulong nito. Uh, for work, for uh, online class, wala pala online class. Pero nevertheless, uh, a huge memory is a big help. Wala na pong inconvenience. Uh, ito lang yung medyo black ship dito. But the meta is clear. 128GB, less than 5K. Dapat ganun na kayo. But yes, if you want to see more unboxing, reviews, or comparisons just like this one, mag-subscribe, can I hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great katalas of bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Ooh.